What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off happened last time, we finally solved the problem of the interfering Russian, mis um, Russian missionary by just sailing around him. And now we're finally attacking Copenhagen and we've got lots of reinforcements coming in actually, so we're going to want to be careful how we do this. Um, but it should be fun, we've got lots of nice nice troop types, so we're going to do, still do our old regular quick line trick. And we may still end up end up relying on some of the forces of our friends. So let's do a bit of smart picking because the last, effectively, the last thing I want is artillery. Because we'll make we'll make the breaches and that'll be fine. Cool. And then you don't need sharpshooters. You'll want your line infantry up front. Because they'll be who we need, who will want to storm the gaps. Maybe we might want some cavalry coming in, doing some sneak sneaks. So let's do that. Cool. That was roughly good enough. I don't, hopefully we shouldn't need them. Radio. And let's attack. The city of Copenhagen going to be... So I'm probably going to have one of my mortars doing their howitzer battery. If that's possible, but we'll soon find out. I mean, I mean, we'll see when it's possible. Obviously, it will be possible. So if I can hit them, they can hit me. But what I mean is, is, is this something I want to do? Do I want to deploy that far up? Um, that's why it can be handy to not deploy wide against one side of a castle, because it gives their defensive batteries more chance to fire on you. That's why going for a corner or bundling tight in a continental that you blast a hole in the wall. Ooh, we might have some cover. Okay, so let's move you all out of the way. Or do I want to on cover or do I move attack? No, I'll stay here. It's more fun. So I'm going for a simple, a simple single breach, and I might actually put you over here. Good. And let's put our oh, howitzer batteries back here, so you've got a bit of cover from the buildings. It does probably mean we'll be out of range. Let me keep my cavalry here. In protect, well, some of well, yeah, all of my cavalry here in protection. So, consider like, these batteries here. So, we're going to destroy this one, but these guys will be opening up and they'll eventually destroy these buildings. But if we need to, we'll move them around. So, let's take a fairly generic. To be honest, we might not want them too wide. So, we might want them something like that, and then maybe. Light infantry on the flank, because these guys can deploy stakes. One of them's going to go into this building here to provide a bit of cover. And you guys don't quite know what I'm going to do with yet, so I'll keep you here. And you. Good. General in the centre-ish. Actually, I'm one of my light infantry units here. But angle them like this. When they deploy stakes, they should go through this gap. I want you like that. Okay. Deploy. Stakes and stakes. You guys, quick line. Oh, I think I've just missed it. Yep, they're trying to target the centre, which has loads of cavalry, so I may have one of them. You keep popping. You guys, the quick line probably hit people on this side of the of the wall first. Yeah, we do want to destroy this wall. There we go. That's why we want to hit this side because look how many kills that got. Go for the garrison guards. So you're doing should be dropping some nasties in the centre. So they got lots of cavalry. What's that? Five, five units of cavalry. Dragoons, Crusier guards. Two units of Crusier guards. Three units? No, that's same. That's the tenth. Oh, the damn cavalry, though. That's the crux of it. So 
I do, want, I do want to do a bit of work before we get in. It does provide the scope for them to bring in reinforcements, but, you know, you'd be a bit of a nutter to attack this without softening them up. So that unit should be almost destroyed. Damn, son! Look at that. Uh, keep firing at them. Oh, no, maybe go for something juicier. This unit of grenadiers. Actually speed this bit up a bit because right now we're just doing regular wall garrisoning stuff and all we're doing is trying to just blow holes in their walls oh if they time it just right let me kill a bunch of Get my quick clone guys to go for that. You blew a little pocket and we've got some good good kills. Actually, let's go and check. There we go. The breach has been made. So probably aim for the corner. There we go. More deaths. So how's this going? Eh, not bad. Getting some kills, at least thinning them out a little bit. Here we go. Here's the juicy bit. Because that's now really nice. Let me tell you. Unless they decide to sally. In which case, then, let's just hit them with quicklime. By the time they've sallied, in which case I might just do shrapnel sharp, aim at the infantry, because that's a really weird place to. Okay, if I do attack ground here, it should go plip, like a big oval splat here. Misfire. Come on, drop a decent quick climb shell on there. Well, at least my shrapnel's doing good. There we go. Okay, let's actually start to speed this up to attack the units in their natural habitat. So you go for the fusiliers. So if we can this breach area, then we'll move up. To be honest, I'm actually doing it now. It takes a bit of time. So, you guys. Up you go. So the no, no, regiment of foot. Regiment of foot engineers. They've got some good reinforcing units. Oh wait, no, 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 no. You, quick climbers, hit that damn. One of you hit that hand mortar company, because holy hell. Absolutely want to kill those guys. Yeah, shrapnel's not working with them. Round shot for those guys. So you go for them, you go. Mr. Hand Water Company. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. Because, yeah, hand mortars are devastating. What I might actually do is move up. Goes out on the right flank. Because fusiliers, they're good shooters, but they're not good in combat. Keep going, we're at least damaging them. 
So we've got quick climb coming in. Our uh, front batteries are moving into position. Quick climb's still coming in. Not as effectively as we would like, but you can only play with the energy given. Infantry, go to clog this area up with bodies. Infantry guards, get up here. Line infantry, get up there. Line infantry, get up on the flank. Uh, yeah, they're going to try to be sneaky, but there's not that many of them. Try and melee into my combat, my on the wall. Then it's not going to go well for them anyway. These poor souls. So their job is just to soak up the uh, cavalry if it arrives. Okay, so yeah, this unit actually try combat them. These guys are going to make reasonably time at the wall. The only, thing, the only thing about this unit is they will form a, a nice big block of troops to swarm over the gate. Good, and they're all utilising all of the ropes. To be honest, I'm actually this. Ah, no, the cavalry's on the move. Attempt to capture it anyway. If, it's, if they're going to let me capture it, then I will. Okay, so these guys are sitting up, you guys are going to land. Move these guys up, it's going to be a bit of a scram. Ooh, what are you, why are you, I don't know why you're routing. But either way, we've got a nice big block of infantry coming your way. Whoa, okay, don't do that. Come back here and form a square. You guys, get up. Climb. Or maybe they'll capture the gate. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. No, you guys stay away. You guys climb that wall. Guys are coming back. I see cavalry. They're routing. These guys to climb. My square will cause enough mischief. Kill any infantry guards, just try to get up on the wall. So this square should be enough to defend against all of them. Have these guys switch to round shot, start hitting their heavy horse howitzer. Run these guys over the gate. Their guard engineers are ready to not do anything. I might attack. Don't attack anywhere, just... Just try to regroup, or group together at least. Okay. So let's take my... Cavalry in. Their infantry's coming from... Oh, that's routing infantry, so run these guys in. Spear into the Zars, because their cavalry is looking mighty upset. Oh, 
Let's see you guys run that way. You guys charge down the hill into the foot line infantry. The square should do okay. Run my cavalry through. Don't want to get caught. Don't want to get bogged down in the breach. Just keep running. And you came back. Don't worry about fighting that infantry in square. Don't worry about it. Charge in through the breach. So my cavalry's going to spear into their hussar unit. This unit's going to spear into the heavy horse howitzer unit. These guys are going to charge in through the breach. You guys form up here to fire into this unit of infantry. And these guys are just going to go smash straight into that. that unit. You go hit the grenadiers. of cavalry. Ah, oh, the guard's actually running. Okay. Sit there and form square. You guys form square. Let's hold fire with my artillery. Fight this great cavalry battle. Let's move you up. Let's get a bit of breathing space to get my other light infantry units in. Come on, don't. I don't want you to. No. I want you like this. Yeah, yeah, you are. You are. Sorry. There's a chewing up this unit of line infantry. Fire by a rank. Yeah, you wanted to want to watch out. Because now we have the gate. combat, this unit of Dragoons, let's get one of these long riflemen to try and capture this building, there you go, you, okay, you hit that unit of Dragoons, you should chew up Dragoons, okay these guys need to go, you need to go this way to help button up these guys, Claim this colonial militia. One of these infantry units peel off to form a quick and dirty square. You guys carry on the charge. These get these guys in to support the cavalry inside.
halt, halt and engage. Let's get my light infantry up. There you go, you should be. You're in close enough range. Someone's going to shoot with them. Start dragging their mounts off their horses. One last dragoon, kill that dragoon. You go hit that unit. God bless you, children. You are giving yourself. Okay, all my artillery. Uh, get out of dodge. Capture this gatehouse in time. So their job is to just hold them back. You kill that grenadier guard. Now get onto that regiment of horse. To be honest, how many? We've got 21 lancers, 38. Okay, so your job is going to go here ready to receive whatever's going to come through that gate. You get after that cavalryman. God, the 82nd have held off mightily. It's understanding more my long riflemen be unhappy about the being charged by Curassier guards. Because they've changed... they've not changed direction. Hit that single light horse, it's probably all this nonsense over here. Oh my. These weak units. Okay, these guys are for some reason. Okay, no, don't need that. Go back there. No, oh, come on. This is the problem when it lags, is that it it's really bad at like Well, it's just really unresponsive. So I want to do this, this, just them. I'm not pressing shift, but yeah, it's still Okay, you Go to the side of an infantry unit. I told them to evacuate, but just get out of here. Just book it. There's no chance, there's no point in risking it. Because look at all these guys trying to get in. This is probably what's screwing it all up. Yes, sir. Yeah, one unit is routed. Charging in with these dangerous this wounded infantry with my guardsmen. Not guardsmen, but you know. But it looks like by the time these chaps get in here, it's going to be too late. Anything, let's form, form a couple of squares. This foot guard unit, is that the one that charged down the steps after? Line infantry of the guards over here. Which must just get them here ready to form a second line of defense. Oh, yes, it's far too late for all of your reinforcements because victory is mine, you see. The Crassiers can't do jack. And this single horseman who thinks he can make it. You've He's not going to make it. Not in time. You guys want to kill my light infantry. For like the third time. Just, can you guys just go? 
Withdraw. You guys should limber up and just leave. Yeah. End battle. Saving my light infantry and getting a heroic victory against the Russians. And their army may have nowhere to go. Unless they can retreat into Sweden. I don't know. The, I can't remember the, the legalities of that. But yes, nearly 2,000 mine lost, but 6,000 Russians. The siege is lifted! The siege is lifted! Okay, so Ready then this for. guy who's fresh. Them. Just do an auto resolve just to just to do the final mopping up. Then take your position that, ready. Sir. You ask too much. I don't know why you can't. Ready I don't think he can go anywhere because he's in the way. Waiting for your orders. But you're going to replenish and then soon. Soon, my pretties. We will destroy the Swedes. So I'm super annoyed we haven't got any rakes down here. Because I'd love to start trying to kill those Russians. That is kind of mine, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is Protestant. Good. Cool. Well, then, actually, let's take. Bring these guys up ready to square off against this army. Uh, you, they should be able. Well, you can sit in Vilnius because you need to replenish anyway. Sir. But Peter Payne is out ready to rock and roll. But I think. Uh, actually, yes. what we're going to do is we are going Make to. Ready. Oh, I thought I almost forgot, didn't you? Swine Vladimir Rukmetsvinaya. We will be engaging the Russians on the field for the first in a very long time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time because we are at the end of this part. So. I've done that backwards. But yes, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.